I'm like, what kind of country are we living in that people have no empathy at all? Like after nearly your whole family being burnt to death. It was horrible. I went down there to try to discuss what the problem was with those people who, who objected. And none of them would have a discussion on camera with me. And I said, look, we'll have a conversation on camera, you know. None of them would have a conversation with me. It was a field that they had not got to do with that the council owned. Um, and they rejected because they were worried the property prices would go down because drivers were living next to them. It's as simple as that. If you think about the tragedy they went through and they had no empathy or anything for that. If you look at even articles that the journal did about that, if you look at the comment section under the articles in the journal, you're talking about hundreds of comments, about 90% of them negative, saying, you know, 10 less knackers dead. And they got it wrong because it was 11 because the woman was pregnant. So that was really really tough and especially if you've seen the, the way that the whole Berkeley thing got covered and those who were involved in that and who died in that and of course they weren't at fault uh, but they were drunk they were playing whatever not at fault at all but if the, the way that was the way that was handled by the Irish media and then there was accusations in America that they were drunk and Irish this and the other and I think Mary Robinson stepped up and backed it up and there was a big big thing and then you had 11 Innocent travellers burnt to death, uh, and it was on the media for a week or two. And even Enda Kenny said that uh, after that, that uh, oh, the count councils need to inform to settle people when travellers moving into the area. During that whole thing was going on, I'm like, what kind of country are we living in that people have no empathy at all? Like after nearly your whole family being burnt to death. <laughs>